Dang, I've been bad today. I fed this morning. I was in the shop for a little bit. Really didn't get anything done. All day's been like this. I don't know what happened to the sun we were supposed to have. At least the fog lifted. But that's going to do nothing today. Between fighting the crud and uh, I've just been wasted. But, yeah. Getting out of bed too freaking late, which doesn't do me any good, just makes me sore. Yeah, I walk around a little ways to get into things because that's just nasty. It's not all manure, by the way. There's a lot of algae and crap in there that grows. It's always wet right there. But, you know, I mean, didn't have to feed here today. Getting by without feeding over there today, but I think I'm going to have to throw a couple bales inside. Which I'm headed that direction to feed the calves anyway. But, no. Becky and I just been sitting on the couch, vegetating, watching Chopped on the Food Network. It's actually kind of fun to watch that. See some of them people. Some of them are a little weird and off kilter. And some of them it's like, hey, you're a normal person that cooks that makes something I kind of like. It looks really good. So, yeah, I'll leave it to a 23 to go first. I figured Amy would go first. That's okay. I don't care who goes first. And actually, looks of it i don't need to worry about them tonight it's still up above the bottom of the feeder so they have enough i do have to uh yeah close my shoes off though look you there i brought you back i haven't fed the calves yet but got my boot closed off Threw some stuff to the dogs so they can sit over there and bark at each other. And check on these girls. The ones that haven't gone out yet. Boomer's not too big of a hurry down there. I don't know why it doesn't want to focus. Interesting. Hmm. Oh well. And then the crybabies down here. They all think they want something. I don't know why they didn't want anything. They still get a little in the feeder. There's still some down there. Ain't like they're starving yet. They might be before the end of winter. I only have enough up there to feed them tonight. It means I gotta move more, which I guess I put that second cutting up. I know there's a little white mold in that, it won't hurt them. It won't hurt the cows once the cows are in a maternity pen either, but I don't dare put it out here. Because with my luck, one cow that's at the right stage of pregnancy that would pig out on it. And we wouldn't have to worry about having a calf. In case you didn't know, it causes abortions. And no, I don't remember which strain it is, but it's a white mold that gets in hay. We've had that discussion with the vet before, and I didn't know what strain it is. And from what I've heard of a lot of you across the country, you guys don't have issues with it, so maybe it's just a here thing, I don't know. That's one of the issues we had when we still did round bales and had them outside, especially, even though we kept them covered. A lot of times we'd push it on the moisture a little harder because, you know, round bales, there's no problem at 18 to 20 percent to store them as dry hay as long as they can breathe a little bit. But, uh, 
I remember we did some even higher than that. Took it out of the barn, too. <laughs> Set it out in the sun for a week and put it back in, and it was good. But anyway, I'm just giving you a BS video for the night. It was a Sunday, right? So just chill and hope everybody had a good day. And uh, hope you all have a good week to come. If I could snap my fingers and get a few projects done around here, I'd be a happy camper. But I guess I got to get up enough oomph to do them too. Oh, well, here's what it is. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good week. Like a bad dream, I came back. Yeah, I know, it ain't Sunday, it's Monday. The holidays throw me off anyway. I just thought I'd show something here real quick. That'd be the bag to go for Tyler and Maury. I hate those bags. It's not as wide at the base, and it's taller. Holds the same amount as these other bags we have, but... Yeah, that's the one with no holes in it. And if you read what it says on there, it used to be a place right in town. Right as we'd go into town from this side of town anyway. We dealt with them for a long time. Before that it was, yeah, I can't remember what it was. It was a few years there. It was named something else. They went bankrupt. and one of those things where we got the letter from the bankruptcy court saying we had to give all our money back because we knew they were going bankrupt. Well, no, we didn't know they were going bankrupt. We just sold them about two or 300 tons of grain because they said they needed it. And before that, it was farmer's feed. Farmer's feed was around forever. Oh, Myron, I can't think what his last name was. Old boy that owned it. I think he passed away at about 85 and he s closed the business and sold it in like 83 or something. He didn't get to enjoy his money too long. If I remember right, that's how that went anyway. But, uh, no, that was, that was a fun one with the one outfit. Oh, they filed bankruptcy and you were supposed to, you knew all about it and you were, you were in on it. Bullshit. Tried to get us for laundering money. I don't think so. I had the empty bins to prove that we'd hauled it. At least that it wasn't here. And, uh, had the check saying what it was for. Check was in the bank. Dad made one phone call, talked to an attorney we knew, and told him what the gist of the letter was. And he says, ah, bring it to my office in the morning. Dad took it in. They copied it. And uh, they made a, wrote up a letter to send it to the bankruptcy court, explaining how we knew absolutely nothing of it. You know, we were one of their vendors, and that was it. And we were paid, and the money was no longer available for the bankruptcy court to redistribute to anybody. Never heard nothing after that, so that was good. And if I remember right, I think that cost Dad like 20 bucks because the guy said, yeah, buy me breakfast next week or something, you know. Anyway, just want to tell you, I know it's not Monday. Give you a tidbit about that. That was the last local feed mill we had. I think there's still one more, but it's a little tiny one. I mean, they're, we're, we're a bigger operation than they are. We just don't have a the fancy stuff to dump in when we mix feed. And I don't know that they always do either. I think they just say it is and put it on a tag. Other than that, the next closest one I know of is about 80 miles down in the valley. Besides Lando Lakes, of course. They got one in Portland and one in McMinnville, so we're sitting right between the two. And then they're not Lando Lakes anymore anyway, but Lando Lakes is contracted to them. So, however that crap works. Anyway, hope you all have a good rest of your week.